What's up guys, it's Ronnie again from Lake Hickory School Memory. And if you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we got a brand new video series coming out where we're going to look at the SSI React Write program. Now the whole purpose of this is to help you pass your final exam when you take the React Write course. Please don't use this as a video for you to go out here and to administer aid to someone else. Just use this as a study guide to help you pass your React Write program. Program. So with that being said, let's jump into today's video. Now one of the first things that you're going to learn during your React Write program is how to do what's called a scene size up or a scene survey. And this is when you simply just take everything that you see and you determine whether the scene is safe for you to actually operate. Whether you're out on a dive boat or you roll up on a car wreck or even if it's just at your local grocery store where someone has passed out, you need to determine whether the scene is safe for you to actually operate. And this is in short called the scene size up. Now the next thing that we want to do, of course, is apply a personal barrier or PPE, personal protective equipment. This can be anything from glasses to gloves, whether it's latex or nitrile, or even a gown if we have to, and even a mask in certain situations. We want to make sure that we protect ourselves because in short, you can't really help anyone else if you can't help yourself first. So always make sure you wear PPE anytime that you're trying to administer aid. Now the next thing that we want to do, of course, is a primary assessment. And a primary assessment basically determines whether this patient is in a life-threatening situation. And there's two things you really got to ask yourself. One, is the patient bleeding? And if they are, how severe? And is the patient breathing? And if they're not breathing, why are they not breathing? And what can we do to assist them in breathing or even circulation of oxygen throughout the bloodstream? In short, how can we get a pulse back? And your SSI React Right instructor is going to teach you several different techniques of how to take vital signs, whether it's a pulse, or even to check for breathing as well. And then later on throughout the course, they're even going to teach you proper measures such as a CPR or administering O2 or even applying an AED to a patient to help them in times of need. Now let's say that it is a primary care situation where you did a primary assessment, you determined that they do have some type of severe bleeding or they're not breathing. The very first thing you want to do, of course, is call for help. In short, Pick up the phone and dial 911. You want to get emergency services in route as quick as possible. And we typically even want to do this before we even render aid to a patient in need. Now you may find yourself in a situation where you need to immobilize a patient or even move the patient due to the scene becoming unsafe after you've started rendering aid. Your SSI React Right instructor is going to show you several different tips and tricks on how to immobilize a patient and move them safely so that you're not endangering yourself nor the patient whenever you try to render aid and the scene has actually become unsafe. Now let's talk a little bit about secondary assessments and secondary care. So secondary assessments is where we have a patient who does have an injury or an illness, and in short, it's not life-threatening. Maybe they've twisted their ankle, maybe they broke their arm, or some fashion. Maybe they've just got a minor laceration, and they are bleeding, but it's not quite as severe as what you may think. Now this secondary assessment is what we basically called first aid, and this is where you're going to assist somebody. Maybe you need to immobilize a limb, maybe you need to apply a Band-Aid, maybe you just need to clean up a wound and that's something that you can do in a secondary care scenario. Now it is important that we always check their vitals and once again your SSI React Right instructor is actually going to teach you how to assess the patient and also how to check those vitals so that once emergency care does arrive on scene you can actually transfer those vitals and transfer the patient over and they can have a better understanding of what happened and what care needs to be continued for this patient. So guys, that's going to be it for chapter one of the SSI React Right program. I do want you to stay tuned for chapter two. That's where we're going to go over the CPR procedures, how to know when to start CPR, and how to know when to stop performing CPR as well. But guys, I really hope you enjoy the series that we're going to create here. The SSI React Right program is an absolutely phenomenal course, even if you are a non-diver, because this is going to allow you to render aid to a patient need even in a non-diving scenario. But guys, that's going to do it for part one of this series. Definitely stay tuned for part two as well. If you got any questions, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer it as quickly as I can, as best as I can as well. But that's going to do it for part one. I'm going to go ahead and sign off today. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.